What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Ellis Sherrod 254. We tune in for another one, man. We finna get off into it. Harness time. The last chapter. The very last chapter. So as you can see, <laughs> I got the harness out the kitchen and onto the couch. <laughs> Didn't make that big of a jump, but it's because we going to go from here to the car. Um, there is a few more connections that we have to make. Um, and then we will be able, or we'll be good to go. So, uh, I didn't have to worry about the issue that I ran into last time because I figured out the relay. Shout out to me. <clears throat> uh, the only thing on this end that needs to be done is I need to solder. I need to solder this ground. This ground needs to be soldered together. Uh, just kind of tidy that up as you can see I kind of started taping off taping off the harness I'll finish that up here okay I was trying to see exactly where this needed to go so that when the harness lay on the card it would be good but we'll take it out <clears throat> uh, there was a couple connectors that need to be replaced uh, let me see well, no, that one's good. And the grounds, the grounds of grounds, the grounds are very, 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 very important. So, uh, definitely want to make sure those was good. There's another one, and then there should be one more. And that is actually the one that is missing. So we'll have to get, we'll have to get a piece We'll probably just go to the junkyard and splice, uh, splice that in, or solder that in, and be good to go. Same thing with the starter wire. Uh, the starter wire, when it was, whenever it was removed from the vehicle or whatever they removed the starter, they just cut it off. So, going to solder uh, one of those on as well, and then that'll be good to go. And then we'll put the harness on the car. So. Like I said, harness, final step, get this knocked out and we'll be good. All right, so went to the junkyard, got, um, we just cut one off another harness that was all jacked up. <clears throat> so I wouldn't have to worry about what size this was and find the right crimp terminal and all that. So same gauge wire, everything is gonna be fine. Uh, same thing with this ground. Oh, just splice it into the other connection and we'll be good to go. So let's get into it.
here we are outside. <clears throat> I want to say that the Caprice is in a good spot uh, for this Harno removal reinstallation. Um, yeah. As you can see, I keep the battery on the tenor joint. <clears throat> so, um, I'm thinking probably the only thing that we'll have to actually do that may prove to be a little difficult or not necessarily difficult um is drop that starter so we can put that line on there and get that crank position sensor plugged in behind there uh might want to jack the car up a little bit for that <clears throat> give us enough room to work with Also, everything else should be pretty much accessible from the top of the engine. Yeah. So, technically, I mean, we finna go back under the knife, man. Like, but this time, when we come out, hopefully it will come out on top. So... First, I just want to kind of get it laid on the motor and uh, <clears throat> see where we're going to be, see where that's going to put us at as far as how everything is supposed to be laying on the, laying on here. <clears throat> 